guys. Good morning, guys. We are now in Ella. Ella. <laughs> <laughs> A really vibrant town. We love it so far. We actually arrived already um, two nights ago, but really late. Yeah, it was a yeah. problem with the train with like a little bit of a delay. And we arrived almost two hours uh, later than thought. Uh -huh. So it was like already evening. Yeah, it's that famous train ride again from Candy to Ella because we made a stop in Uvara Elia. Mm -hmm. And uh, we're here in Ella staying at a beautiful homestay. It's uh, amazing. Yeah. yeah. The breakfast and the view uh, is the best we had so far, mm -hmm. I would say. A lot of fruits, uh, a lot of yumminess. Oh, yeah, and today we even saw monkeys on the trees like right ahead of us uh, having breakfast with us. Yeah, <laughs> they stole our leftovers when we went back in the room. <laughs> but amazing. Yeah, you pay for the view, but also the room is wonderful, really big. So nothing to complain and we already have a full day uh, behind us yesterday where we did in the morning the famous uh, nine arch bridge um, it is yeah quite popular yeah a lot of people a lot of locals as well on the track surrounding taking pictures even though we weren't that late actually but no. you can still see a lot of people mm -hmm. there so very touristy so you can look up the times when the, the train comes so you can see it uh, passing by uh, it goes in a tunnel it's a pretty nice view although we weren't too impressed maybe but so yeah look up the times if you want to see it pass by the nine arch bridge is one of the most well-known sites in sri lanka thanks to its stunning architecture and scenic views of the train passing by in between the tea fields it was built during the British colonial period and shows typical architectural traits from its time. The bridge is only like 45 minutes away by foot from Ella town, so you can easily get there by foot or you can just take one of the many tuk-tuks to find in the main street. From the bridge, we walked towards the trailhead for Little Adam's Peak, which only takes about 30 minutes by foot. The hike itself is quite easy and took us only another 30 minutes to reach the summit. This trail is very popular among tourists and locals and we encountered many people along the way. Its similarity in shape to the bigger sacred mountain Adam's Peak is what gave it its name, even though it's way smaller. In the afternoon, we were checking out Ella Town for some drinks and tasty Sri Lankan food. Along the main strip, you can find many cozy bars and restaurants. So, another day, another curry. So, what do we have here? Next to the rice will be okra, papadums. That's pumpkin curry, cauliflower curry, potatoes, dal, favorite of Moritz, and uh, coconut, uh, what was it? Sambal. Sambal. So let's dig in, it's veggie tonight. Mm. One of the things we loved about our stay in Ella was the delicious breakfast on our balcony with the amazing view of the jungle. The best part is actually that while having breakfast we could spot so many monkeys jumping around in the trees, eating jackfruits and stuff. We just loved watching these cute animals and have already encountered so many different species in Sri Lanka, it's just amazing. How is those, those legs look like?
So right now we're walking on active train tracks uh, because this is actually the easiest way to get to Elarok as described in all the blogs and also the only planet and everywhere that we've read. And I mean locals always use train tracks anyways for getting to places faster. Um, we've already passed a few tourists coming our way, a few going that way, so quite quite a normal normal thing to walk on them. You know be careful of the train that yeah. might pass you. One funny thing though, like while walking these steps, is really somebody mentioned that uh, somewhere was that it reminds them of, of those movies where you're walking on these uh, on the tr on the tracks. And we thought of uh, what is it called again? Uh, Lion? Lion! We love that movie! <laughs> um, where the little Saru is also always walking on tracks, running, trying to get back home. So, on the trail tracks, some people might tell you to go a different way to El Rock, which we just encountered. Uh, most of them are just scammers who then want to show you the right way actually after that to get some money out of you. So just follow the train tracks all the way past here, uh, this train station, like shown, and just keep on walking, like for 10 more minutes after that, and then you're going to have like a clear indication because there it's gonna show you like a, a blue arrow to the left and that's where the trail starts you can also see it on google maps if you have a sim card which we highly recommend so you don't get lost there you can also see it says trail start or head trail head start of the alarok so at this point after the bend you will see here like an opening and this is actually where the trail starts towards the ala mountain there should be like a arrow, a blue one, somebody said, but it could also be that it's faded away. So this is where you should go up then. Yeah, and if you come up, you will have this view. Lovely. <laughs> so you see like a little shack and some tea, tea bushes. And, and from I here... A bit of rice tea, right? right, and from here we walk up Ella Rock now. We already saw some people coming down, confirming that's how they got to Ella Rock indeed. When you see this bridge, you're on the right way. Yesterday, after doing the Night Arch Bridge and then a little Adam's Peak, we decided just to keep things a little bit more uh, slow and relaxed. So we just enjoyed our time a bit in the town of Ella, where you have tons of bars and cafes. And yeah, we just chilled somewhere, took a lot of fruit drinks. Yeah, right. <laughs> you can really get your fruits in here. <laughs> it's amazing. We, we love doing that. Like a lot yeah. of juices, like the juice milkshakes that you get. Mm. We had a lassi yesterday as well. They're super yummy because you can taste that the, the fruits are fresh. They come from the area here. They have such good papayas. Oh damn, they're <laughs> amazing. So and yeah, of course the food. We can't forget the food. I don't know if we already mentioned it. Must be, but food is amazing here. The curries. Oh, the, yeah. the, night, the night we arrived with the damn best curry uh, yeah, so far indeed. in Sri Lanka. It was amazing. It was in Ella Village restaurant, yeah. so write that one down. The Sri Lankan curry exists out of, you can choose one meat for chicken or fish or something. And then it's with all like vegetable curries. So you have the dal, the lentils, mm -hmm. for example, maybe then the pumpkin, uh, cauliflower we had yesterday for the first time was amazing. Um, you yeah. see a lot of reoccurring dishes in the, yeah, in the curries, always with coconut sambal mm -hmm. uh, for some heat, which mm -hmm. is nice and uh, yummy. 
a lot of veggies in these. Yeah, so we're, we've been eating really good. Yesterday we did for lunch take a hamburger. We enjoyed the <laughs> hamburger. <Yeah. laughs> so, and right now we're on our way to Ella Rock a little bit later yeah. than expected. But the weather is nice, light, nice and windy. Yeah, a little bit of wind, a little bit of clouds, which makes it a little bit more bearable because it's quite an active road. So, uh, yeah, we started from our um, homestay where we uh, went towards the uh, train tracks yep. because that's the way you should go for that's, LRO. That's where everybody walks along. <laughs> also, locals just use it as a means of like a shortcut for transportation. Just walking along the tracks. Yeah. And oh. uh, Federica already had her first leech now. Amazing. Ah, wait, it's getting a bit steep here. <laughs> wait for me. Um, and so on, when you're on the train tracks, keep your eyes and ears open because it's an active train rail. So you might encounter a train just like we did. Yeah. So jump on the side. And just let it pass. It's all full of tourists. Yeah, and all waving. <laughs> <laughs> After an intense day of hiking, we headed back to the city for a delicious curry and juices at our favorite place, Ella Village Restaurant. After another great breakfast with an amazing view, we headed out to explore some waterfalls around Ella. Unfortunately, I started to feel a bit sick, so we had to return back home for a few hours. In the afternoon, we planned for a cooking class at Priya's cooking school, which was super interesting and fun. We love Sri Lankan food and we were able to learn more about the spices and ingredients that they use in Sri Lankan cuisine. We cooked several dishes like dal, coconut sambal, a pumpkin curry and so much more. Everything was super delicious and Priya was such a great teacher. We highly recommend this place if you're looking for an authentic cooking class in Ella. We will put the link down below. 
So our days in Ella came to an end and after exploring a lot of the north and central part of the country, hiking and soaking up the culture, we're heading down south for some relaxing beach time. So see you next time. <laughs>